who am I? Nanyar. All living beings desire to be happy always, without any misery. In everyone, there is observed supreme love for oneself, and happiness alone is the cause of love. In order, therefore, to gain that happiness, which is one's nature, and which is experienced in the state of deep sleep, where there is no mind, one should know oneself. To achieve this, the path of knowledge, the inquiry in the form of who am I, is the principal means. One, who am I? The gross body, which is composed of the seven humors, the hottest, I am not. The cognitive sense organs, namely the senses of hearing, touch, sight, taste, and smell, which apprehend their respective objects, namely sound, touch, color, taste, and odor, I am not. The five cognitive sense organs, namely the organs of speech, locomotion, grasping, excretion, and procreation, which have as their respective functions speaking, moving, grasping, excreting, and enjoying, I am not. The five vital airs, prana, etc., which perform respectively the five functions of in-breathing, etc., I am not. Even the mind which thinks, I am not. Then the science too, which is endowed only with the residual impressions of objects and in which there are no objects and no functionings. I am not. Two, if I am none of these, then who am I? After negating all of the above mentioned as not this, not this, that awareness which alone remains, that I am. Three. What is the nature of awareness? The nature of awareness is existence, consciousness, bliss. Four. When will the realization of the self be gained? When the world, which is what is seen, has been removed, there will be realization of the self which is the seer. Five. Will there not be realization of the self even while the world is there or taken to be real? There will not be. Six. Why? The seer and the object seen are like the rope and the snake. Just as the knowledge of the rope, which is the substratum, will not arise unless the false knowledge of the illusory serpent goes, so the realization of the self 
which is the substratum, will not be gained unless the belief that the world is real is removed. 7. When will the world, which is the object seen, be removed? When the mind, which is the cause of all cognition and of all actions, becomes quiescent, the world will disappear. 8. What is the nature of the mind? What is called mind is a wondrous power residing in the self. It causes all thoughts to arise. Apart from thoughts, there is no such thing as mind. Therefore, thought is the nature of mind. Apart from thoughts, there is no independent entity called the world. In deep sleep, there are no thoughts, and there is no world. In the states of waking and dream, there are thoughts, and there is a world also. Just as the spider emits the thread of the web out of itself, and again withdraws it into itself. Likewise, the mind projects the world out of itself and again resolves it into itself. When the mind comes out of the self, the world appears. Therefore, when the world appears to be real, the self does not appear. And when the self appears, shines, the world does not appear. When one persistently inquires into the nature of the mind, the mind will end leaving the self as its residue. What is referred to as self is the Atman. The mind always exists only in dependence on something gross. It cannot stay alone. It is the mind that is called the subtle body or the soul, Jiva.